Well, hello everyone! I bet you weren't expecting this. Another painting! Okay, maybe you were, but still! <sighs> Today we're gonna paint another recipe page, and this recipe happens to be one of my favorite and go-to soups. Welcome everyone to broccoli soup. This is literally the easiest thing in the world to make, because all you need is a pot, broccoli, water, and salt. Oh, and a stove to cook it on. But I'm not including those in the ingredients because the ingredients are water, salt, and broccoli. Uh, it's the best. It tastes very much like broccoli. And I like it because I like broccoli. If you don't like broccoli, this is not the soup for you. But if you like broccoli, this is the soup for you. And if you would like to join me in painting it, please feel free to do so. Um, but if you just want to know the recipe and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be much bigger while I'm painting it and you'll be able to see it hopefully. So without further ado, uh, let's start painting. All right, are you guys excited? I'm excited. I love broccoli soup. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but I love broccoli. Um, I love broccoli. I think that broccoli is probably the best vegetable out of all the vegetables that exist. Broccoli is in fact my favorite vegetable. I love it. I cook with it all the time. I eat so much broccoli. I eat copious amounts of broccoli. Um, I go through like a head of broccoli like a week, every week, and I try to only go through one because I could easily go through two. Um, so it gets very expensive. Broccoli is kind of expensive in Canada. Um, so I'm trying to not eat all of the broccoli that Canada has to offer. <laughs> But that being said, I do eat a lot of broccoli. I love broccoli. So uh, today we're going to be painting broccoli soup, which is one of my favorite soup recipes to make. Um, first of all, because it's super, super simple. And second of all, because it's super, super tasty. This is actually a modified recipe um, from Chef Gordon Ramsay. Um, it is not at all even as complicated as his, and his is very, very simple. I simplified it even further. Um, and so the way that I did that is that I took out literally every other ingredient that wasn't water or salt or broccoli. Um, <laughs> like cheese, who needs cheese? Butter, who needs butter? No, we're just going to have broccoli, salt, and water. And you're like, isn't that just like steamed broccoli? Aren't you just eating steamed broccoli? I'm like, yes, but this time it's blended. <laughs> I, it's good and I didn't know that that was a thing that if you just blended broccoli it kind of turns into cream of broccoli soup even though there's no cream in it it just kind of looks and feels creamy it's great broccoli is genius broccoli is the best I love I love broccoli I'm gonna say it like a bunch probably um, so you may have to forgive me for how many times I say we may have like a counter going of how many times I say I love broccoli but <laughs> But um, I do also love doing these recipe pages. Um, these recipe pages are coming out real cool in my opinion. Um, I hope that you guys are enjoying them because I have more to come, uh, lots more. We're, we're gonna be doing lots of them. The way we do these recipe pages is that we start with our goop and uh, a nice sepia or sepia tone. Um, and I use burnt umber for that. And then the rest of the painting, um, I use a super fine brush, and then I use um, paint thinner. So not the goop, actual paint thinner. And I use the paint thinner to do all the things. Basically, basically all the things. Um, so I'm just thinning down some sap green, because that's a nice broccoli color. Look at that nice broccoli color. Now I do do a gesso painting beforehand um, to get all the like shading and uh, details in so that when I'm using my paint colors um, all I'm really doing is filling it in and then I can add highlights and it looks pretty suddenly broccoli is standing beside me <laughs> it's 
that's that that was my version of suddenly Seymour, but it was terrible, so nobody probably got it. It's from Little Shop of Horrors, in case anybody didn't know. In case you didn't know. It's from the Little Shop of Horrors. A little extra green action going on in this one apparently. I'm gonna blend that out. I'm gonna blend that out with another brush. There we go. Yeah, it still looks pretty healthy and broccoli-like. In fact, I think I'm just gonna extra green the rest of this. There we go. Yeah, broccoli. So stage one, paint your broccoli. <laughs> but no, for the actual uh, soup recipe, as you can see, it's very, very simple. Uh, you just cut the broccoli into sizable pieces that are good for boiling. And then uh, when the water is boiled, you boil the crap out of it. Add a little bit of salt, because salt's good for flavor. Um, and then, uh, you know, when it's nice and soft, you then uh, put it in a submergible blender. Uh, we remove half the water, um, but, but then put a submergible blender and just blend the crap out of it. Um, can I say that word? I don't know if I can say that word. <laughs> but that's what you do. You blend away all the things so that it ends up being a nice, smooth consistency. And then after it's nice and smooth, you can uh, go ahead and eat it. And it's just green soup. It's, it's very simple, very easy to paint, because there's not a lot of ingredients. You know, everything about it is just very simple, which is part of the reason why I love it so much. It's just a really, really simple recipe. And you can just feel free to enjoy it all day, every day. It just, it's, it's good. It's not very filling. I'll admit that. It's not very filling. So if you're looking for like a good, like a hearty soup, go for the, uh, the carrot ginger one. That's much more hearty than this one is. This one though is, is delicious. It has the delicious factor. Um, I, I, I very much enjoy it. Um, sometimes, cause I don't like using the stems when I make my beef and broccoli. I just, I don't like to eat the stems that way. I don't have a reason for it, I just don't. You can, there is no problem with doing that. Um, I just don't like it that way. Um, and so I'll save the stems, I put them in the freezer, and then when I have a lot of stems, I'll make beef and broccoli soup with the stems. Tastes just as good. You wouldn't notice, just because it's blended. All right, I'm gonna make that bowl white, I think. So once again, using my thin paint, and I'm like really, really thinning this down to the point where it's like a very inky consistency. And I'm just coming in here and adding in some white to the bowl to make the bowl look white. See how the bowl looks slightly more white, but not really? That's what we're going for. I'm not sure you guys can actually see that being a different color, but it is to me slightly whiter than the rest. The paper is also like a cream color, so the white does like actually pop against it, but not overly. Just enough. It pops just enough. We'll just do that. And then we'll get a little bit thicker. We'll just do a little. So it has that little shine on it and again while i have it just a little bit thicker i'm going to add some little 
highlights to the broccoli florets a little bit. So it looks like they're catching the light a little. Florets. Wow, that was super fast and super easy. <laughs> I am glad I did that. Ta-da! Broccoli soup. Uh, if you would like to uh, make broccoli soup, please feel free to do so. If you want to share pictures with me, please feel free to do so and tag me on Instagram. It's, um, it's, uh, the, the, all the links are in the description, so my Instagram is there as well. It's my whole name, my real name. Uh, not Bloodstained Wings, surprisingly. Not my real name. I know, right? Everyone is shocked and in awe that Bloodstained Wings is not my birth name. <laughs> wow, so simple. Love this. I love this recipe. Kind of want to have it for dinner tonight. We'll see. That being said, thank you so much to my Patreon supporters and everyone for supporting me. I really appreciate you guys so much. Um, and as always, please remember that you are loved and you deserve to be loved. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.